Hey, it's Matt Decker with Leveraged Wealth Management. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. Over the last, I'd say, six months to a year, I have got a ton of variable annuity illustrations of uh, people that have variable annuity contracts and either they're not growing, they don't know how they work, they're not happy with them. And so I've seen literally hundreds of of variable annuity contracts over the last uh, let's just say six months to a year and so what I wanted to do is just do a real quick this is gonna be a short video real quick video just showing you or highlighting some of the things that you need to be aware of when it comes to variable annuity contracts and as always um, you you need to get these policies reviewed on a regular basis these contracts uh, or rather this industry changes all the time so there's always uh, newer, more innovative products that are hitting the marketplace. And if you have an older product, there's a really good chance that it's maybe not performing the way that it should be performing, or at the very least, you should get it reviewed and make sure that it's still going to fit your goals. So what I'd like to do is just show you uh, kind of, th this is kind of a great example of some contracts that I've seen over the last six months. This contract was issued in the year 2000 so March of 2000 and this contract started off with an initial payment of 53,790 so total payments since March of 2000 is $53,790 so we're talking about 19 years into this product it started with a payment of $53,790 and look at the current contract value as of last year 2018 $42,439 so $53,790 was put into this contract 19 years ago, and as of December of 2018, this policy has $11,000 less than it was started with. 19 years, $11,000 less than what was originally put in. And here's what's really concerning. What's really concerning for me is no money has been taken out of this contract, total withdrawals since March of 2000, zero dollars. So no money has come out of this contract. 53,000 was put in and now it's worth $42,000. And the reason that it's worth 42,000 when 53 was put in is because oftentimes these variable annuity contracts are littered with fees. It is not uncommon for you to be paying somewhere between two and 4% every single year for your variable annuity contract. If you have an income rider on your variable annuity contract, if you have a death benefit rider on your variable annuity contract, chances are you're paying well above 2% every single year in just fees. And so I encourage every client that comes to me with a variable annuity contract, I encourage them to get it reviewed. Make sure that it's still going to do what you want it to do. Chances are there's going to be an option out there that can limit your downside risk and still provide you things like guaranteed income, still provide you things like a guaranteed death benefit. Because the risk with your variable annuity is always that you have unlimited downside exposure to the market. You're invested in mutual funds. All those sub accounts are simply mutual funds. So not only are you invested in mutual funds, which all have their own expense ratios, they have their own fees, you're also invested in, in an annuity contract that comes with its own fees. And oftentimes uh, you have elected additional riders that come with fees. So when you have a product that has full exposure to market losses, at the same time, you know, it has unlimited upside as well. Unlimited upside, unlimited downside. In this case, the unlimited upside really didn't do anything for these clients. They put in 53 and now they have 42. So unlimited upside really didn't help them at all. What killed this policy is negative market performance on top of you know an average of 3.5% in fees. And that killed this contract. And, and we've moved to this contract to something that's going to do a little bit better for them over the long term. So if you have a variable annuity contract and you don't know how it works, 
if you don't know the fees that you're paying in that annuity contract, or if it's just simply not performing. If you put in a decent amount of money and all of a sudden, 10, 12 years later, you have just as much, less, you know, maybe marginally more, what I would submit to you is that you need to get that reviewed. There's a good chance that you can be put into a position where your upside is relatively unchanged, and yet you've completely reduced the risk uh, by getting into something that's maybe a little bit safer. So what you need to do if you want a, a contract review for your variable annuity contract is you need to go to leveragedwm.com slash VA, leveragedwm.com slash VA. There's going to be a link at the top of this video, top right hand corner. You can click that link and it'll send you right to that web page and where it's just going to ask you basically to fill out your information and then you'll get an email right away just saying, hey, thanks for replying for a review and that'll give you an opportunity to send me a copy of your contract so that we can get that reviewed for you and make sure that what you have is still going to fit your goals. So if you have a variable annuity, it's time to get it reviewed, especially where we are today. It's May and we're sitting near or at all time highs in the market. So if you have a variable annuity contract that over the last 10 years hasn't performed or has performed poorly, chances are going forward, it is not going to perform. We've had a great run in the market the last 10 years. And if you haven't seen growth, if you haven't seen that great run in the market reflected in your variable annuity contract, you're probably never going to see it. So this has been Matt with Leveraged Wealth Management. As always, like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel, comment down below. All of that helps get this channel more exposure, helps get people the education that they sorely need on issues like annuities, life insurance, financial planning topics. So thanks so much. I look forward to hearing from you and chatting with you in the comments. Take care.